guys. Hope you're having a good day. What's up? I know, we haven't vlogged during shop open hours and stuff for a while, it seems like. As you can tell by the title of this video, we got two new menu items coming out today. One is in the fridge, ready to go. We officially have orange ginger shots. We made these a little while ago and people loved them. The combo of orange and ginger, it's like this perfect breakfasty sweet taste with a lot of spice. They're amazing. So, we got some bottles and we're ready to go. Here's a little tip, guys, as far as labels. This is what I have been told, okay? Check with your health department, your people. Anything self-service has to be fully labeled in a certain way. Ingredient list, all the things. If you don't have labels, all you have to do to kind of get around that, and you're not even getting around it, it's fully legal, is you have to serve it behind counter. It can't be self-service. So if you have a new menu item that you want to serve but you don't have a label for it, just serve it behind the counter. Say, hey, we've got ginger shots, we've got the things, we have them available, we have an under counter fridge, this is how we do it, and here we go. No longer self-service, now it's us serving them, and they do it because they have to talk to us. In order to know what it is, they have to talk to us. Um, anything that's self-service is, they're kind of solo, even though we're right here, they're still considered kind of on their own. The information has to be on the bottle, so this is a great way to serve something. So how you do it is you serve it behind the counter, and we're gonna utilize this quite a lot, especially with random little recipes. It's a great way to use up produce that you need to get kind of out the door. It's a great way if you want to serve food but you don't have packaging for it and whatnot and you don't want to put it in your self-service fridge. All sorts of great things. We've got ginger shots which is really exciting. So many people have been asking for them, wanting them and we're really excited to finally have them available. Thought it would be fun to show you price breakdown how this happens. So here we've got the price we pay for oranges and ginger. 88 oranges for $64 or not 88, 80 oranges. 30 pounds of ginger for $78. That breaks down to 80 cents each for the oranges, $2.06 for a pound of ginger. Um, for one batch, which produced nine shots, it was four oranges, which totals um, $3.20 for all the oranges, and half a pound of ginger, which totals $1.30 for the ginger. So total all in for that nine shot batch, it cost us $4.50 to make which totals out to 50 cents each per shot. That's cost like material, produce wise, what went into it, what that cost. In general, you want to keep below 25% for juice. So total cost to make the product should be 25% or less of the retail price. We retail ours for $3.50. That puts us right at a 14% product cost to make the ginger shots, which is pretty good, 14%. 14% way under the 25%, and it offers that wiggle room to offer a combo deal. So if you buy a ginger shot with a juice, you get the ginger shot for $3 instead of $3.50. A little bit of a discount. That's a breakdown on what we're doing, what we're serving. We'll see, our goal is to sell 20 to 30 ginger shot, orange ginger shots a day. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'm sure in the beginning, We'll probably do that as most people are excited. They try it, which is also why it's so important to make sure your first impressions are good because um, they're going to try it once and that's going to decide whether they get it again, whether they purchase it again. Top notch, good quality. We also do offer a bottle bring back credit for the little shot bottles as well. Lately, it's been a little iffy, guys. The weather change, lots of weird changes. Um, we've never really been open into the winter. We've always stayed open um, like mid-November, and then we close the truck down. And always, you know, this time of year, it kind of slows down. Once Thanksgiving comes around, though, we're really busy because we sell growlers of holiday juice and all sorts of stuff. People love that. But this time of the year, it's always hard. It's cold here. It's the first time it's been cold all season. People are kind of like, wait, it's cold. So I don't know guys, we'll see how it goes. We're really hoping that it goes over well. Oh, and we have people come in all the time and say, I just want ginger, I want all the ginger you got. So this will be a quick, they, they literally just go, I want ginger. <laughs> and so this will be a quick little, you can get this, it's easy, good for them. All right guys, we've sold a ginger shot with every juice purchase pretty much, we're doing pretty good. We should be able to reach our goal today of the 30 shots out the door. A lot of people are buying two, which is really interesting. Now I am dealing with the daily question of what to drink. I am kind of wanting a sweet green. That sounds delicious. They were just made. But I should probably stay away from the 
fructose. This is literally such a hard decision. Oh. Okay, we're getting our. Ooh, smells so good. We are getting ready to do our nut milks, guys, for the very. Well, actually, for the second time. We did a test recipe um, a week ago, and now this is to be sold. Which is so exciting. We are going to sell nut milk for the first time. It tastes so good. It's like outrageously delicious. Guys, big exciting news. We got famous people in town. Mike and Frank from American Pickers, they're here in Finley, staying at our new hotel. Keeping a look at them. I messaged them and said, hey, welcome to Ohio. If you're looking for a healthy option, uh, we've got organic juice, ginger shots, vegan donuts, and I gave them the rundown. And I also said, we know some people with attics full of old things if you're needing to do some picking. So they checked in a couple hours ago to the Hancock Hotel. Somebody posted a photo on Facebook. And I looked on their Instagram, their Instagram story showed them traveling from Michigan to Ohio. So they just got here. I don't know what their plan is, where they're going picking, but this is exciting. Very fun. So we're keeping a lookout. Guys, I just got back from a very exciting meeting. This is like major, I was a major, big partner business meeting. Super excited. We'll share it with you guys eventually. But it's cool. It's great. It's, it was great. It's great. Great. Lauren finished making the nut milks. And they're super fresh and delicious. Take a look. I bet these will all be gone tomorrow morning. This is just going to be major once we launch it. Look at them. We make the nut milks on the mini here. It does a great job pressing them quick. What we love about the mini so much is it can do quick, small batches. And that's huge for especially the juicing system we use, which is kind of on-demand, fast juicing. So we go till we run out of something, we juice some more, which cuts down on our product waste significantly. We're able to do 20, 30 real fast. And it's just like, they're there in the fridge within 10 minutes of selling out, we've got 30 more. I know I haven't, I haven't talked about the mini a lot lately. Um, I haven't been making a whole lot of YouTube videos lately, just in general, but we've really been loving the mini. And if we need to upgrade, I can see us wanting to almost move the mini front of the house and utilizing it for made to order juicing. I don't know if we would totally want to do that, but it gives us the option if we were needing to upgrade to an X1. But even if we were going to upgrade to an X1, we would still use the mini a ton for slower days, for times we run out of something and just want to make a quick batch of it, it would be utilized. And we've got ideas for the future on how we would do certain things. <laughs> Another huge thing about the mini, it is the only juicer that you can make nut milks on that's all in one. You don't need a separate blender for it. Even with the CT, you have to blend the nuts either in a food processor or a Vitamix. The mini, it's all in one. You just throw the nuts in the chute, the hopper, and they grind up perfectly well. So that just cuts down on complications and having to have extra space for equipment and having to buy extra equipment. It is a major benefit that you can just throw the nuts in there. Psh, 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 only juicer you don't need a separate grinder for. Guys, this is a dream come true right now. This is amazing. Look how creamy it is. Do you guys see how creamy that is? Like, oh my goodness. With our vegan chocolate donuts, which tastes like cookie dough. Oh my goodness, guys. This is like, this cannot be healthy. This could not be real food. I can't stop recording it. This is real life. This is real life. Super exciting day, a fun day. Things have been pretty consistent and just like trucking along lately and this was a fun one. New menu items, new partnerships, just all around. What was that? All around a lot of fun, so thanks for tuning in, watching, subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss a video. And I'm sure we'll have a lot of fun, excitement, exciting announcements to tell you guys soon and we'll see you at JuiceCon in a couple weeks. Oh my God. JuiceCon. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.